back. Road Ranch for the Matrix and Road Show. Let's talk about the terminal list. I have seen episode one, the first episode, and it's really damn good. Really good. Uh, it harkens back for me to the time of actual, real action movies. Do we remember that time? 80s, 90s. Great action stars. Bruce Willis, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Carl Weathers, Sylvester Stallone, Michael Dudikoff. Yeah, I, I went there. American Ninja. Don't sleep on it. Chuck Norris. I mean, the list goes on and on. All the side characters, David Carradine, all these guys, right? Eastwood, Charlie Bronson, all of them. I love these kind of shows, and we just don't get them anymore. Why? Because these shows offend everybody. Okay, they, has, uh, they offend your sensibilities, especially if you're anti-American. Well, we're not anti-American on this channel. In fact, something we've been talking about doing is bringing back an old segment that TBS used to have called Movies for Guys That Like Movies. We're thinking about doing watch parties on this channel for good old-fashioned hardcore action flicks. The old ones, right? Uh, maybe some good like Mark for Death, Commando, right? Missing in Action, Lone Wolf McQuaid, Bloodsport. I mean, movies that really kick mother effing ass, right? Uh, so, we got the terminal list, and the Wokes absolutely hate it, and it just shows you the disconnect between critics, woke critics, and audiences. Audiences are starved. They are starved for patriotic movies. They're starved, and we've seen that with Top Gun. They're starved for actual alpha toxic males. That's right. We want to see dudes that want to kick ass. And it's not like Chris Pratt's um, character in this show is not vulnerable. I mean, he's dealing with PTSD on, a, on another level. I like this show a lot. I'm only one episode in. I got done with Cobra Kai. Holy crap, that ending. And uh, so, let's get to this because... Audiences are speaking, and the Terminal List is the number one show on Amazon. It is the number one show on Amazon, and Chris Pratt did go out there, and he thanked the fans. And the Rotten Tomato score continues to elevate on this, continues to go up. Superstar Chris Pratt sent a message to fans and Amazon after, quote, the Terminal List soared to the top, making it the number one series on Amazon Prime Video, this is the Daily Wire. 43-year-old actor owned the 4th of July weekend not once but twice after his latest show based on former Navy SEAL author Jack Carr's book by the same name became the most watched series on the streaming site. In a message he shared on social media, Pratt praised Amazon for letting them make the show we wanted to make. You know, you got to give Amazon some credit for letting uh, the creatives do their thing on this. Well, that's two years in a row that the 4th of July weekend belongs to Amazon at Prime Video. The Guardians of the Galaxy star captioned with his Instagram post, Last year, the Tomorrow War. This year, it's the terminal list. I'm so grateful with my uh, relationship at Jennifer Salky and everyone at Amazon. Thanks for letting us do the show. There it is. There's his post on his Instagram account. And uh, let's go down. On Rotten Tomatoes, the critics have panned it, giving it a 37%. Pretty standard issue, issue macho man military conspiracy theory fair, as one critic put it. But the audiences are loving it this show, giving it a score of 93%. Yeah. Let's look at this. Audiences love it. Right there. It has gone up to 93%. I did go back and checked it out one more time in the latest, and it's clear. There's a massive disconnect between audiences and these woke critics, these, these woke anti-American, pro-American uh, critics you know, they're talking about it being right-wing uh, propaganda, revenge fantasy, revenge thriller of the right wing. And no, audiences just love it. They like good, old-fashioned men being actual men, not candy-ass mama boys, right? There's uh, no... The, 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 the star is not a bisexual. Oh, my God. He's an actual dude, a straight-up Uncle Jesse-ass dude. 
and audiences want to see that. They want to see it. Mainstream critics and liberal media are panning Amazon's new series, The Terminal List, which stars actor Chris Pratt, but audiences love the fast-paced, testosterone-infused thriller. Season one of the series is sporting a rough 37% approval rating from critics. BuzzFeed deemed it unhinged right-wing revenge fantasy. Variety called it a dour, miserable sit, one that would be tough to make as a two-hour film inexplicably roided up to eight hours. Ah, ah, but the ones that matter are the audience. The audience scores, though, tell a different story. This show is boasting an impressive 93% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes from the general audience with comments expressly calling out critics. Good. I'm shocked at the harsh reviews. I'm not. I'm not. This is critics that loved movies like like The Last Jedi, for crying out loud. They want to see liberal purple-haired propaganda. Plain and simple. That's what they want to see. They're not getting it here. Quote, I'm shocked at the harsh reviews from the critics, one person wrote. This series was highly enjoyable, full of twists and suspense, and Chris Pratt was great. Quote, Chris Pratt is excellent. This really is a different character for him, and he plays it so well, another person said. I don't get why critics don't rate this high. Is it because he's conservative or Christian? Of course there's an agenda there. Their rating is a complete mystery to me. It's better than Jack Reacher's series. And I love that one, too. I haven't seen it. I need to watch it. Critics have no idea. I like the movie, though. Critics have no idea what they're talking about. This show is insanely good. I couldn't stop watching it. Excellent story and acting from Critics Score. You can tell they have sold out their morals and should never be trusted to give an unbiased review. It's so refreshing to watch a show that actually focuses on subject of the show meant to be about instead of delivering some social justice BS lectures. This show was amazing. The critics are morons. Someone bluntly put it, I binged it and I'm going to binge it again with friends. Wish I could give this show more stars. Brandon Morris at Red State said the show was, quote, bound to draw ire from the left. Not only does it star a man they hate for some of the dumbest reasons imaginable, but it looks at military men with a kind eye and is unapologetically fun. Nowadays, this is a sin to the blue check marks left, which demands every piece of work carry its message in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Pratt has been criticized for some rather benign controversies. Most of the criticism is tied to him being an open Christian. Yeah. So the critics are going into it automatically pissed off, automatically... uh, they're going to turn a blind eye to it. They're, they're automatically biased because he is a Christian. That is a thing these days. Let's crap all over Christians. Um, and they don't like Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. They don't. I mean, the Twitter mob tries to cancel him all the time. But once again, this shows the disconnect between the critics and the audiences, which we know have been there. And it's we're seeing more and more of this. When these shows sneak through like this one does... You can really see the disconnect. It shines an embarrassing spotlight on the critics who have a blatant left-wing agenda when it comes to entertainment. This doesn't check social justice boxes. It doesn't have some kind of woke message. The ideology, the identity politics is not there, and in turn, they hate it and they shit on it. No. Audiences want to see this. It is my belief audiences greatly want the old days to come back in movies and in TV. Okay? Family-friendly TV, pro, pro-America pro television, pro-America movies, no political agendas. People are starving for that in entertainment. Somebody's going to figure it out. The Daily Wire might be it, right? Tell me what you think. Matrix and Roadshow fans, peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USAFIRST, all one word. USAFIRST, all one word. 25% off now.